Time has not been a healer for Kashmiri Hindus. In the last 32 years, they have witnessed the pain and in many cases, the kind of gruesome scenes that were seen of, in fact, uh, limbs being chalked or people uh, being attacked in broad daylight on the streets of Srinagar. Those pain and those memories have once again come to haunt them with the movie Kashmir Files coming out in the open. In fact, uh, there have been several controversial statements that have been made in the last 48 hours as far as this issue is concerned with some opposition parties even uh, putting the blame at the doorstep of the RSS and the BJP and not blaming those extremists who carried out this violence on ground which actually led to the migration of Kashmiri Hindus from Jammu and Kash from Kashmir in the first place. But Times Now in fact has taken up this issue. We will be bringing in fact uh, over the next few days our coverage and our campaign which is to reopen the Kashmir files to try and bring some semblance of justice to those those who have been victims of the violence and have still had no closure. Congress or Tukre Tukre gang, abhi abhi, isi JNU mein, Rahul Gandhi, Afjal Tere Katil Jinda hain, ye kisne kaha? Bipaksh, huriyat se jaake milte rahe, kisne kaha? Koon bheja tha in atankwadi samartha koon se milne ke liye? देश को गुमराह ना करें और ये कांग्रेस और टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग विपक्ष देश एक एक पाय का बदला लेगा ये तुष्टीकरण की राजनीति के सामने देश को बेचने की साजिश वी हैव इट अ सीनियर कांग्रेस लीडर एडवोकेट एम रिजू सर नाउ दैट देयर इज अ सीरीज ऑफ ट्वीट्स दैट्स बीन पुट पुट आउट बाय द केरला कांग्रेस इन द ऑन बेस्ड ऑन द फिल्म कश्मीरी फाइल्स now what uh, bjp has said is that it was due to the congress that a lot of uh, kashmiri pandits has left the valley during the 1990s how do you react to this it is uh, absolutely false the bjp is shedding crocodile tears on uh, actually kashmiri pandits the exodus of kashmiri pandits actually uh, starts in 1990s in the first month of january 1990 at that time the nation is ruled by vp singh uh, the National Front government, which was uh, supported by uh, BJP. Uh, Jack Mohan was the governor. He later becomes a BJP leader. Uh, we are not treating Kashmiri issue uh, on communal basis. Actually, BJP, is, uh, BJP want to twist that issue into uh, communal lines, a Hindu-Muslim issue. Actually, it's an issue between separatists and nationalists. Even uh, at the time of our freedom, uh, the Pakistan needs the annexation of Kashmir to uh, Pakistan. It was totally opposed by the Kashmiris who are Hindus and Muslims, the Pand Kashmiri Pandits and Kashmiri Muslims. So, actually the issue is between the nationalists and separatists. Don't treat us a communal issue. BJP is treating that issue in, on communal lines. Now let's remind you how successive governments uh, and political parties and the leaders have actually patronized these, these butchers who carried out the massacre of Kashmiri Pandits. In fact, uh, this is uh, as far as the patronage for killers of Hindus are concerned. Uh, Yasin uh, Malik seen with Manmohan Singh and uh, uh, it was in 2006 that he, was, he met for one hour with the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. And the question is whether well, he was legitimized by the then Prime Minister. In 2007, Yasin Mali got a stay on trial in the Indian Air Force massacre case. And this went unchallenged under the UPA regime. And in fact, Yasin Malik seen over there with Hafi Said as well. In 2007, he shared the stage with Hafi Said in Pakistan. And this was allowed to happen in the UPA regime. Hafi Said, of course, uh, is very well known in terms of how he has spread terror or attempted to spread terror in India. Now, in 2006, another butcher of pundits. In fact, Bitta Karate managed to get bail. He was rearrested in 2019 in the terror financing case. The shocker is that there was a government job given for his wife in 2017. And in 2017, Congress's Manishankar Ayer supported the Huryat and in fact met Saeed Ali Shah Gilani at his residence. So those are some of the important questions that do arise of this entire episode as far as the political patronage that has been received by these individuals.
And in fact, uh, in the past, Rahul Gandhi has also spoken about uh, being a Kashmiri Hindu and even offered platitudes. But these words of Rahul Gandhi don't appear to be matching the actions of his party. This delegation is not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. It is not a bad thing. So I want to say that when I talk about it, I don't want to say it. And I am saying that I am saying that the Kashmiri Pandit is the one who 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 is the one. Let's take this across to our guest joining us live with us is S.P. Vaid, former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir. R.P. Singh is the national spokesperson of the BJP. With us also is Amit Rayana, uh, who is a Kashmir activist as well. Sanam Shah is with us, leader of the Congress Party. Vikas Rayana is also with us. Uh, he's a Kashmir activist as well. Let me begin with Sanam Shah. Sanam Shah, you know, uh, any massacre, any incident of violence, one expects that people will treat such issues with sensitivity. Instead, what we have was this bizarre tweet coming in from the Kerala unit of the Congress, which chose to A, put the entire blame at the doorstep of uh, the BJP and the RSS and Mr. Jagmohan, completely ignoring the fact that there were killings happening on the streets of Srinagar. And what's even worse is they're actually comparing killing of two people of two religions. And they finally had to delete that tweet. It's a bizarre comment to make in the least and extremely insensitive, Mr. Shah. Thank you, sir. Past has gone. Future is not content. So, you know, I know, everyone knows, Anjaita present. The Kashmiri film files not benefit the Kashmiri Pandit, not benefit Kashmiri Muslim, not benefit citizen of Jammu and Kashmir. Sir, the Kashmiri file film is not... No, but you're not factually challenging it. Who's talking about benefit? What is the harm in coming out and expressing what or documenting what has happened, sir? I'm a Jammu Kashmir and I'm a president of Jammu Kashmir. No, you're talking about this. You're saying that there will be benefit. There will be benefit. We're saying that there will be a problem. I'm telling you, sir. You're listening to the truth. Now, listen to the truth. In this film, the truth is that Sir, we will listen to all the stamina and listen to all the things. But this is the question that there is a problem in coming out. That is a bizarre statement. We don't want to do the country. Today, we have given the name of the country. You are saying that Congress has tweeted the right tweet. The Kerala Congress has tweeted the right tweet. If it's right, why did you delete it? Tell me, Sir Amshah. No, no, answer the question. This is not a platform for you to come here and make a speech. Answer the debate as to the question that is being made as far as the tweet by the Congress is concerned. Are you defending that today? Today, we have given the right tweet. 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 Today, Mr. Sanam Shah, for the last time, are you defending that tweet, yes or no? All right, no response coming from Mr. Shah. Mr. Shah, we have, we have a debate here. We are asking specific questions as to the current uh, story that is currently underway. We are not talking in random generalizations. I want to bring in the BJP spokesperson over here, Mr. R.P. Singh. Mr. R.P. Singh, the question is this, that 32 years hence, you have a government uh, in the state that is under the direct rule of the centre. The central government has been ruled by the BJP. Yet, Kashmiri Pandits feel a sense of injustice. They feel that justice has not been done in the case of several of the Kashmiri Hindus who were very brutally killed there in the early 90s. Madhav, uh, let's understand the subject on hand first. The issue is, what is the Congress intention? The person who is representing, I don't know whether it is representing Congress party or other party, asking simple question, is Yasin Malik a terrorist or not? Is Betta Karate a terrorist or not? Did they kill the Indian soldiers? Did they kill the Kashmiri Pandits? And, and, what a bizarre tweet they have put, that more Muslims were killed, less Hindus were killed. They are, till date, I mean, till date they are doing appeasement politics of Muslims. I'm sorry to say that. And it started with Pandit Nehru, when he went to UN for plebiscite and said we need plebiscite in Kashmir. And thereafter he provided 370 way. It didn't end it there. The Indian army made 90,000 plus 
Pakistani soldiers surrender. We could have worked out this forever. This problem would have been resolved forever on, on the uh, negotiation table. We again surrendered. I mean, there were 90,000 soldiers with us. We could have resolved this issue forever. But we Mr. again missed the bus. Yeah, okay. Give me a second. I want, a second. I want, I want to come to the larger question of justice. Why are we campaigning for the second. Kashmir files to be reopened? What has been the legal problem? I want Mr. S.P. Vaid, who knows very well how the police functions in Jammu and Kashmir, having been the state DGP. Mr. Vaid, where is the issue over here? Because on one hand, we see how there have been soft peddling as far as terrorists are concerned, how action against them has been difficult to take because of the political patronage that they have received. On the other hand, you have the victims who are coming out to demand justice, saying that uh, the actual perpetrator the real perpetrators have only prospered rather than being punished and being put behind bars. Hello, you are asking me? Yes, Hello. Mr. Ved, Mr. Ved, question for you, sir. Question for you. As someone who has very yeah, closely you, seen Jammu and Kashmir, you who knows the reality on ground, why has it been so difficult to bring these people to justice? Because there is no, uh, see, uh, the, uh, uh, though Bita Karate admitted before the policeman during interrogation that he has murdered these 20 people, but uh, the uh, confession before a police officer under the Indian Evidence Act is not admissible in the court of law. So that is your law. And there is no witness is ready to accept, uh, to come, come and depose against these terrorists. So you know the ecosystem in Kashmir. No one will dare... Uh, speak against the terrorist in the court of law. So uh, what does police and prosecution do? That is why all these cases fail. Now, uh, what was re uh, required is uh, we have to uh, have legal framework where uh, uh, the evidence collected by police and uh, uh, confession before a police officer is made admissible in such cases. Only then such terrorists can be convicted. Okay. All right, please stay with us. I'm going to request other panelists also who have been waiting very patiently to stay on with us. We're going to come back uh, from this very short break and continue with this discussion on the other side. Stay tuned.